Hi ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tony Hollowitz and I want to talk to you about using checkboxes in ACT or what ACT refers to as a yes or no field. My experience has been that the checkboxes in ACT is probably one of the most underutilized resources for ACT users and I think they're phenomenal. I think they can add so much to what you do with ACT and I'd like to illustrate that for you. Let's talk about us being in the ice cream business. If you've watched some of my other tutorials or videos you'll notice I talk about being in the ice cream business and let's say this particular contact Henry Kissinger we try to decide okay what kind of ice cream does Henry like? Well let's say we talk to Henry on the phone and Henry tells us about the different types of ice creams he likes and what we did is we go into the notes area of ACT and we make a note that he likes chocolate, vanilla, or peach. Now as you add more notes into ACT, that can be buried. It can go down the list so it's sort of out of sight, out of mind. And if you need to do a lookup or a search of people that like chocolate, vanilla, or peach, or whatever the flavor is, it can be awkward at best. And also, let's say we call Henry and we're not looking at that and we don't see that note, we can't find the note, and at a glance we want to be able to see what kind of ice cream does Henry like. Well, this is, in my opinion, where checkbox fields come in and play a great role in using ACT. And you can utilize this in any way you see fit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this screen around to a screen that I call checkboxes. And in this view, if I'm talking to Henry and he says, boy, you know what, I really like chocolate. Well, all i got to do is click off chocolate. If I like cookies and cream, or if I like peach, or if I like vanilla, I can check that off. So now it's very visual and if you look at this and think about all the things that are relevant about your clients and prospects, this is a great way to share this. And also if you're in a company where you have multiple users, it's very clear to you where this can be utilized and used to your advantage by creating checklists. One of the best things about checklists is you can look up information based on the checklist and the easiest way to do that is if you right click on the chocolate checkbox and go look up chocolate when you do a look up an act in a checkbox field it's either true or false so if it's false that means it's blank if it's true that's checked and if I click OK you'll see in this example he's the only one in the entire database that likes chocolate. So let's say you had a surplus of chocolate ice cream, you needed to look up all the people that like chocolate, you could do that very easily and then turn around and send them a quick email. So check boxes can be tremendous for a typical ACT user and I just wanted to illustrate that for you. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tony Hollowitz. I appreciate your time. Have a great day. Thank you.